Hi, I'm Declan. I saw some of the uh, posts about the uh, Beambox on BMO having issue regarding on the uh, alignment, the focus and the power. So uh, I'm going to show you on BMO how to, is it just a briefly, how to check the very important in order to get a very good result on your engraving or your cutting and I'll share a link below there's a channel called further fabrications talk about the laser beam alignment it stop very clearly and easy to understand how you're gonna tune the uh, reflection mirror to do the actual path of the alignment so I provide the link below so you just click and see what is the theory? 100% is the same with BMO. So you will be more understand how you're gonna tune in your alignment and get a good result. So I'm gonna show you on BMO what I'm done with the calibrations. Okay, this is the laser tubes. This is what I call the first lens, second, third. And the result from the laser tubes. Beam box and beam mode, there's a difference. Is beam, beam mode don't have the uh, alignments tool, so we don't bother. We don't bother for the uh, first lens. But make sure when it depends on what material you're using, a very smoky, oily uh, material. So that you use, you need to clean. The reflection mirror so uh, uh, this is the second one I'm using 3d print to print out this is a uh, alignment tools I need to check the first beam and laser beam must be on the same spot okay I apply the uh, double side tape and then just attach to the mirror this is what I do I need to 100% confirm it will blast from the first point and the second point on the same spot okay this is how I do after that, there's a pause and then to the max and then do again. Can you see on the same spot? It doesn't matter, it have to be uh on the center of the reflections this be more uh, different is it already fixed okay see it already fixed so you can't move uh, left or right front and back the space is limit so you don't have to like tuning to blast the, the center of the circle you don't need the most important thing is the the most important thing is you have to press to the minimum press the minimum first blast and to the max second blast must be on the same spot can you see this is on the same spot it means that the path is correct this uh, first mirror and the second mirror the line is straight the line is straight okay now we're moving uh, to check to the third lens same thing attach here
close the door first blast a very tiny dot this one is the minimum then to the maximum then do the second blast it's a very tiny dot it's a very tiny dot but it's on the same spot Okay, for this one, you try try to make it the center line. If uh, if more uh, more towards to the left or right, you just loosen this four screw. One, two, three, four. This four screw by moving forwards or back, de depending on the center line. Okay, we use double side tape. We need to check the last important part it has to be the dot has to be on the center center of the circle must be on the center point so you have to squish a little bit I need the shape of the circle blast you have to check See whether it's on the uh, center point. If not, you have to do tuning until the blasting is on in the center. This is very important. And inside, there's a focus lens. The concave must be up and the flat surface must be placing down. Okay. So you have to check inside the focus lens. So everything's done. First point and second point on the same spot. The third lens first and the, the last point on the same spot and is it in towards the center line okay toward the center line but adjusting adjust by the uh, four screw okay the last part is blasting you have to you need to see whether it's the cent is in the center point on the circle if yes then your engraving or cutting will be very nice okay one thing important important things before you unscrew this, this uh, this is the the key is to tie it up. So this must not be loosened. Okay, this must be tight, but not too tight. Before you screw to tight, you have to you have to one hand to hold it and another hand to use the tools to tighten it up. Okay, this uh, this screw must not be loosened. Okay, one, one, two, three. The first, second, third lines. This screw must not be loosened. If loosened, tighten it up. After all, calibrate. On the BMO side, you just import the. Uh, be more sample okay be more sample is what we're gonna see the dip the dip is uh, very cool and you can see the side there's a very tiny line can you see there's a line there very tiny line if you show a very tiny line the whole circle then your calibrate is done okay your calibrate is done or you, you place underneath pull down the uh, acrylic uh, the focus measurements okay just put it like that close it and blast place back so you need to check is a very nice circle dot 
Okay. And this uh, this one is a uh, three mm, I think. So we cut through the bottom, a very very tiny hole. You can see a very tiny hole here. So all the best to you. 